Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about annealing rifle cases, annealing brass cases. So we're going to use a very, very simple method today, and that is doing it on a normal candle. I see my candle is burning a bit short there. I might just replace it before we carry on. Let's just talk about why annealing. Why should we do annealing? What I've got here is a batch of 9.3 by 62 cases. So they've been um, resized uh, and loaded for about five times now. So it's high time to now anneal them. Why annealing? When you work the brass cases, uh, you actually hard and work hard in the brass. The reason for that is when you shoot it, it, it expands to fit, to fire form and fit into the chamber of the rifle. So then uh, when you crimp it again in, in a full length resizing die or even a neck sizing die, you crimp the neck, especially the neck and the mouth, this top part of the of the cartridge you crimp it in the die and then when the expander ball pulls out of it again you actually expand it again so you work it and it becomes harder it work hardens at the top part there um, now wh why is that a problem so when it gets too hot it actually loses uh, pliability so it's more difficult to form it it puts more stress on it and it can actually crack uh, it also becomes springy because it's now hardened and when it's springy and you and you form it you resize it in the die what then happens is it it bounces back to the form it was when it came out of the rifle so what that causes is um, the tension on the case neck when you seat the bullet you've got variable tensions on the case neck and when you measure your shots uh, the speed of your shots you will see that there's a, quite a variance so you actually get more accurate when you do annealing so what we're going to do today is to show you the annealing on a candle. What you actually want to do when annealing is basically to just relieve the stress on the neck side, neck part and the shoulder part of the cartridge. You do not want to soften the whole case, especially not at the, at the head, because here you want it to be hard. If it's too soft here, you can get head separation and all sorts of trouble. So you don't want to go there. You also do not want to overdo annealing. Because if you make the neck too soft again, then you will render your cases useless. And it, it will damage, it, it won't be possible to reload them. But if you do it correctly, you actually lengthen the life of your brass and um and and you shoot more accurately because your tension is now uh, quite regular throughout your batch quite similar so what do we do we point the brass 45 degrees upwards when we put it in the flame you do not want to do it the other way around because if you do it like this the flame actually enters into the mouth of the brass and the heat comes very quickly to the back here and to your hand and you won't be able to handle the case before the neck is actually annealed. So when you do it this way around, it takes longer for the heat to come to your hand. You will see that I do it with bare hands and I will turn the brass like this. You turn it 360 degrees and you, you hold it in the 
uh, just at the top of the flame there. That's where the flame is at its hottest. A lot of people are worried that a candle flame is not actually hot enough to anneal. But when you look at the flame, just at the top of the flame there, it's between 900 and 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. You actually only want 650 degrees Fahrenheit to, to heat this case up to, to that temperature. So it is pretty sufficient. You cannot over anneal it because before you over anneal it, your hands will get so hot that you cannot handle the brass anymore. That's also why I've got water here. We will just dip it in the water to arrest the annealing process and to make it easier to handle the brass. Great, let's do one and show you how it's done. You will see the suit of the candle on the brass there, but that's not a problem. It wipes off very easily. As soon as it becomes hot in your hand, you'll hear it sizzle in the water as we cool it down. We basically just arrest the heating process so that it just doesn't go to the bottom of the case, to the case head, and then you just wipe it with a cloth comes off very easily and there you go an annealed brass case 100% ready for reloading great see you guys next time enjoy